Even police tell me that this man in his 30s apparently drove all the way up to here from Florida. Check it out. We're going to take you inside the lobby of the police department, part of the city complex here in Taylor. He told police he thought he was being followed. He thought his cell phone was being tracked. He tossed it out the window. One woman here encountered him on his way in when this all started. She says he looked very troubled to her. You never wake up thinking that one morning your life is going to be threatened. Watch carefully. The gunman says his trouble started yesterday in Jacksonville, Florida. I left my job yesterday. Uh, people was following me to work. He's like, you don't belong here. I don't want to have to hurt you. And at that point, I noticed that he had a gun in his hand. And I was honestly shocked. Like, I didn't really know what to do. I told him, like, you know, man, like, I'm sorry. Like, please don't. She got back to her car and watched as the courtyard was closed off and city offices evacuated. And inside the lobby, the despondent man asking for suicide by cop. I'm ready to die. I got my weapon on. I'm ready for one of y'all killed. The front desk officer then sees he has a semi-automatic handgun. It would turn out to be loaded. The man walks out the front door, and two officers can be seen moving in. One with a handgun, the other with a long gun. An expert is here to calm the man down. We have a hostage negotiator within our own building and he immediately began making contact with this with this person to try and find out what the issue was and of course ultimately to try and get him to to uh, release the weapon. It's just really sad to see that people have to go to that extreme to to basically fix like their own their own hurt, you know. I'm glad that he didn't use that hurt to hurt other people. Yeah, and tonight that man is getting help and he has family in the area. They've also been called. Live in Taylor, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim.